Hey everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm Becca and on this channel I show you behind the scenes how I run my small Etsy jewelry business and basically just what shenanigans I get up to every week. And this week is going to be a shenanigan full week. It is quiet in the shop. I do have a couple orders which is awesome. If you guys do end up ordering from my Etsy shop, please make sure to leave a special note because I want to leave a special note for you as well. I want to share the love, all the love I have to give. Like I said, I'm gonna be up to some weird things this week. You guys, can you see those bins back there? Okay, you know the ones that hold all my charms, those black ones. I actually bought pink spray paint because I'm extra. I can't help it, it needs to be pink. It's ruining the whole color scheme over there. And so I bought pink spray paint and I plan on taking every tiny little baby drawer out and spray painting those pink. And yeah, guess what? I'm gonna take you with me and I'm gonna do it. I know, I know guys, I have an obsession with pink. <sighs> I hope you can love me anyway. Does anybody else love a color that much? Anyway, so I'm gonna spray paint those bins. They need to be pink, I feel it. Another thing I'm gonna be doing this week is I'm going to be watching Skillshare. And in particular, some of the how to draw videos. I've actually paid for Skillshare for a long time now because I saw somebody mentioning it on a studio vlog and I decided that was for me, I needed it. And so I pay for it and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna figure out how to draw better. And I'm getting there. I did some more practicing this morning and I'm gonna practice this week. So I really wanna hone in on creating my own backing cards. Again, guys, sorry if there's background noise. It's summer and the children are here. I love summer. And another thing that I'm really excited but also nervous and I keep getting a pit in my stomach every time I try to think about talking about it is that I'm considering starting a Patreon. It kind of makes me nervous because not only do I, of course, have that fear of nobody is going to want to go on a Patreon, but also it's a fear of living up to a certain standard, a fear of not making it good enough or having enough content or quality or whatever, or the fear of what people think. But you know what? Honestly, like we can't be focused on what other people think or else we're never going to follow the dreams that we have for ourselves because we're going to be too worried about what other people care about. And that is just not the life that I want to live. It's just not. So I'm going to do my best to boldly move forward and start planning my Patreon. Some ideas I have for it, I'm just going to share them and then you guys can let me know what you think, okay? Uh, why am I so scared? <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got this. Why is this getting me so emotional? It's because it's scary, you know? It's scary. It's like it's scary and you're putting yourself out there. Anyway. I'm gonna calm myself down real quick. Okay, I'm back to being a little calmer. Some of the things I've been thinking about for my Patreon, I would love to do a podcast. I would love to do exclusive live streams with you guys where we get to talk back and forth. Um, I was also thinking about how cool it would be to have time where we just get to chit chat, like just like friends. Like you and I talk about what we're going through, what our business struggles are, what our life struggles are, our fears, our successes, our failures. Now, I know that that is kind of, uh, seems kind of big and intimidating all at once, but honestly, that's the kind of person I am. I'm just a very let's be real person. So that's what I would wanna do. Oh, and I also thought it'd be fun to do like a plan with me. I know that a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of people who are trying to start their own business are alone. I am alone and I'm actually really a team person. So I really work well when I bounce ideas off of other people, which thank you to my husband and my sister and my sister-in-law for always listening to all my ideas. They have to all the time. Thank you. Anyway, but I'd love to have another group of small business people that I get to do that with. And I don't know about you, but maybe you need that too. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think down below about that. It sounds really fun to me. And I just love the idea of being able to get to know you guys all better as well. Okay, Blah, I got it out. That was scary, but I did it. And I'm glad I shared it because I'm excited. I'm excited at the possibility of it. I'm also just pumped about my channel in general. And of course, I would never lose the content that I currently have. I would never take that away and I would never want that to be diminished in any capacity. Patreon would only be something to go deeper. If you wanna support me and you wanna get to know me more and have more back and forth, that's gonna be the kind of situation. I would never take away the, the content that I already like to put out there. So now that I'm all done talking about that, I'm going to just 
just get started with the week and start planning. Let's plan a list and see how far we get on it. Also, thank you everyone for your feedback on last week's video about the, whether you like studio vlogs or you like ASMR and a lot of you like both. So yay, that makes me feel really happy because I was a little worried that the content was too different and that there was like half and half. So I was very excited that most of you, and not, not all of you, but most of you guys like both. So again, thank you for all your love and support. It's so, it means so much to me, honestly, and all your encouraging comments. Like last week, I almost cried. No, I did. I like teared up. Oh gosh. Uh oh, it's coming again. Stop. Okay. I am emotional. Anyway, it just means a lot to me and I am so thankful for the love and support. I didn't think that it would be like that. So thank you. Gosh dang it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done crying. I can't be done. There are so many cool people in the world. You guys are so cool and you guys are so sweet and encouraging and it just is so awesome because it is a community and everybody is so encouraging and I want to be able to give that to you guys too. So thank you. Now that you've seen all sides of me, my crying side too. Let's go ahead and get this week going. And also I'm running out of time. My kids are starting to get loud downstairs and I can hear them. Okay, well, let's go and have a great week. I can try if you let me with our lives I am bleeding. Who am I without stories that aren't mine? What I did to achieve you Gave me air, thought I had to, I'm untrue. The cool thing about having had, just had a craft fair is that I have a ton of stock ready to go. Look at that, and all of the good stuff ready to go. And I can just pick from it. Yes, you. Free, 37 free listings. Thank you for whoever signed up for that. I really appreciate it. I hope you got your free listings too. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of 
ever wonder why we put ourselves through this much work? All for pink? Or is it just me? Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the... <gasps> Good morning. It's Wednesday. I am checking in because I wanted to check in with you guys on how my to-do list is going for the week. And I've already accomplished everything on my to-do list. Look, okay, I spray finished spray painting my pink drawers. And let me just show you really quick. I've got a bunch of things on my desk though, so don't judge me. Look, they're pink now. They're pink now when they go. So I accomplished that. I have continued to plan and research Patreon. As you guys know, I talked about that a little earlier. A check. I have practiced drawing. I finished cleaning up my office, kind of. It's always a work in progress, let's be honest. And I li listed my rainbow love wish bracelet. Let me show it to you. Look, look how cute it is. And it's on my wrist. So I got a lot of this stuff done already. So yeah, I'm just feeling really excited and there some, are some really cool things I'm working on behind the scenes that I can't show you yet because I want them to be kind of exclusive and surprisey. So I am, but I'm really excited about these projects coming up. So I kind of feel like I have a lot of energy from that. Also, I wanna know how your week is going. What are you guys up to? What are you planning? Let me know. I hope that you um, know how much I appreciate all your guys' comments. What is going on in your business right now. I know that a lot of you guys are thinking about opening Etsy shops. I'd love to hear about them, give you guys some shout outs on this channel so that maybe we all can go together and check out your new shop and support. I would definitely be down to do that. So if you guys are opening a new shop, come and leave your information in the comments below. We'll check you out. We can support one another. And that's actually what I want to be able to do starting a Patreon is be able to really share that information, encourage one another and get more a, of a teamwork feeling as an entrepreneur. I know it can be really hard and isolating sometimes. Uh, okay, well, I better get back to work. Got to practice my drawing today and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Well, hello, it is Friday. I am all alone in my house. My in-laws are in town and they have my kids over for a sleepover and my husband is at a course tonight. So I am in my house, my very own house without children. And I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna take this opportunity to get some work done and just enjoy this quiet time. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to work on re-illustrating this guy right here. This is just from Canva Art and it's beautiful and glorious and their Canva art is great, but I would love to be able to put more of a personal touch on it. So I'm gonna work on illustrating it. I've already started working on some stuff and I'm getting better day by day. I've got an order to pack and I might start filming my ASMR video. I have an ASMR coming out in two weeks, so I better get on top of that. I want to also close out this vlog and this week and say I hope you guys have an amazing week. I hope to talk to you in the comments and until next time, bye. The day. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken